Welcome back to the Tech Tackle, the podcast where we dive into the latest innovations and advancements in technology. I'm your host, and today we're exploring something that has the potential to change how computers understand visual information, FAST VLM, which stands for Fast Vision Language Models. So what exactly is Fast VLM? Well, imagine trying to explain a beautiful landscape to a friend who can't see it. You need to articulate details that capture the essence of what's in front of you. That's precisely the challenge Fast VLM addresses, turning images into words efficiently. It's a new hybrid vision encoder that outputs fewer tokens, which are the bits of data used for processing, while also speeding up how quickly it can decode high-resolution images. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Fast VLM has achieved something remarkable. Its smallest variant is 85 times faster at generating the first token compared to other models, like LAVA One Vision 0.5b. And we're not talking about minor differences here. This is a game changer in terms of efficiency. Just think about the implications. If you're developing applications that rely on quick image recognition and processing, like augmented reality, for instance, this could significantly enhance performance. There's also something to note about its larger variants, which utilize a model called Quen 27 b Not only do they outperform others like Cambrian 1.8b, but they do it while maintaining a single image encoder and achieving about eight times faster processing times. I mean, can you imagine what creators and developers could accomplish with this technology? And speaking of creators, there's an exciting demo iOS app that showcases how well this model performs on mobile devices. It brings complex visual processing capabilities right to our pockets. What's more attractive about Fast VLM is its accessibility. If you're a developer interested in diving into this technology, you're in luck. The Fast VLM team has set up instructions to allow you to train or fine tune your own versions of this model. It starts with setting up your environment using Python and creating a virtual environment with Conda to get you ready to roll. Now, let's get practical. If you were to use this model, you'd need to download some pre-trained checkpoints and run inference on your machine sort of like loading a really powerful app that helps you analyze images. Picture yourself doing this on an Apple device. Fast VLM can be used on various Apple devices, including iPhones and iPads, which makes its use incredibly widespread. I find it fascinating how advancements in coding, like the developers involved with Fast VLM, are tapping into the potential of open source contributions to create something truly groundbreaking. It's like a community working together to push the boundaries of what's possible in tech. As we wrap up today's episode, let's reflect on this. Imagine a world where processing images happens almost instantaneously. Fast VLM is paving the way for such innovations, making our devices smarter. So where do you think these advancements will take us next? In what ways could you see technology like this impacting your daily life? Thanks for tuning in to the Tech Tackle. If you found this discussion engaging, feel free to share it with friends and let us know your thoughts on this visionary technology. Until next time, keep exploring the wonders of tech.